Hi everybody, happy Thursday. It's Lisa. Welcome to my kitchen again. Um, first things first, if you're replaying, put replay and where from. And if you're live and put live and where from. If you have any questions, kind of shoot me a comment. Now that I've remembered that, how has everybody's week been? I hope it's been really good. Um, I've been having some fun. I took an art class, a train ride. I'm enjoying things, okay? And I'm doing it with a lot more energy and so forth with a much better health plan than I used to have. Um, if you would have seen me before, I there would have been a lot more of me, like major inflammation and stuff. So I've been working on low-carb keto, which helps with inflammation, and I have another program, um, another set of uh, supplements that I do, and it's helped me with my intestinal issues, and it's just been great. But anyway, to the recipe. So this one takes about 50 minutes to cook, and I've, I've pre-cooked and pre-done as much as I can. I still don't think we're going to be able to see the whole thing on here. This is the meatballs. We're going to do keto meatballs, Italian meatball soup today. So um, I had done this. My friend Sarah had done this before um, on her page, and it looked really good. And we are having a slightly cool slip cool snap for Georgia. It's not as hot as it usually is. So I thought, wow, this is probably going to be my last uh, chance to probably enjoy a hot soup before we just totally go to salads and cooler things. So um, I thought today would be a great day, awesome day for the soup. Hello, William. How are you? Where are you watching from? Okay. So this soup is going to be quite large, which is why I have this large pan. And you know what? Quality stuff. This was my, this pan's older than I am. My grandmother gave this to me out of her salad master set. <laughs> so quality stuff is good. Not always, not cheap, but it's, it's good and it lasts a long time. Um, don't ask me why I went off on that tangent. Um, let's see. All right. So you're going to heat the olive oil, two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're going to do that on some low heat, I think. All right. So for the meatballs, um, I'm just going to go through and tell you what was in them. Two pounds of ground beef, half a cup of chopped onions. Well, I could look at the camera and do this. Oh, I do things. <laughs> um, a third of a cup of chopped parsley, which I have a kitchen garden, so that works out. Got it all out of there. Two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Two teaspoons of garlic salt. One teaspoon of ground pepper and one teaspoon of salt for the soup. Okay, we're gonna do two tablespoons of olive oil, as you just saw, one half a cup of chopped celery, one, two teaspoons of minced garlic, a quarter of a cup of chopped onion, and a half a cup of chopped mushrooms, salt and pepper to taste, two medium zucchinis, spiralized, pre-done, um, 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, and a pinch of red pepper flakes, which I'm sure you can leave out if you're not into the heat stuff, but I do, so I, I, I love it. And six cups of beef broth. Okay, so I did forget to grab the minced onion, which is right here. So we're going to have all that set. Now, I've chopped everything that needed to be chopped. And, ooh, this is heating up nicely. Yes, sirree. Okay, so then we're just going to cook this a little bit. And I think I'm going to turn the heat up just slightly to like a medium. So, um, who here, tell me if you're on, put keto in the comments, if you are keto or in, or low carb, whichever one you are, um, or if you've thought about it. And if you have questions, just go ahead and say questions or something like that. And, um, because a lot of people sometimes they hear stuff about keto or they hear stuff about low carb but they don't really know because they haven't really tried it or whatever. And that can apply to so many things in life. Like we hear things, but we don't actually get all the facts sometimes. So um, I've been doing this for a little over three years now. And my husband has too. And his doctor is so happy with his numbers and mine is so happy with mine. Like I don't hardly ever have to go to the doctors, which is wonderful. I love it. And I don't have the aches and pains. I haven't had headaches. So... It's, it's really good to be able to find something that works. 
Um, okay, and back to this recipe. Okay, we've got the meatballs done, which I showed you. Celery, onion, mushrooms. Okay, so the zucchinis, which I spiralized, um, are going to be one of the last things that you put in because they're a soft cook thing and you don't want to overcook them. You want to have some flavor there. So, um, and I don't know that you guys are going to see this because it takes a while to get this in and I don't want to hold you on here that long. But I do want to make sure um, that I go through enough of the recipe so that you can get a good feel for it. Um, will beef is okay and large be served to for several minutes until translucent. Well, they're getting there. They're almost there. Okay, and so while I am waiting for the the vegetables to be translucent, um, I want to make sure I invite everybody to a call this evening. If you have ever thought of like losing weight or reaching goals financially or whatever, I have found something that works for both. And I would love to invite you to um, the call just to check it out. We have had a lot of success. As usual, um, you have to actually, you know, be engaged and so forth. But if you can see yourself maybe doing something a little different and winning, then love to have you join and see about getting healthier, getting maybe better, more money. I, You know, it could be either one. But uh, the invitation's there. And we have such a variety and such a supportive team, but such a variety of people. Like we have office managers. We have, I mean, all kinds of people that are trying to get healthy and work to get other people healthy. You know, um, a lot of jobs you just clock out of and you try to leave it at the office, right? Hi, Angela. This is one that I love doing all the time because it brings pleasure. And when you can do something that you love, it's it's just wonderful. Is I, I met so many people that just, you know, they don't hardly even want to tell you what they do sometimes because they just don't like it. They just do it. And there is another way. Just saying. And back to the food. Okay. So, um, the onions are translucent. The celery is... Yeah, we're getting there. Okay. Hi, Angela. How's your day going? You feeling? You doing better? Um. Okay. Da -da -da. You know. Make sure to generously salt and pepper. Okay. However you want to gener, whatever you consider generously, that's what it says to do. So give it some flavor. Bear in mind this is an Italian recipe, so you know however you like to flavor it. Um. Stir in the red pepper flakes, add the diced tomatoes and the broth. So red paper, red pepper flakes, I'm just not even going to take the cover off, okay? I just buy this kind. I find it in, in the, um, I think it's the Mexican section. Yeah. Okay. And I like a little bit of spice, so I'm going to go a little heavier, but that's, that's about as much help as we need on that front. Okay. And then, um... We're going to add the diced tomatoes. Ooh, got a little bit of steam going there. Maybe I ought to turn that down. <laughs> okay. Oh, and you know what? I did forget something. I did, I did. Two teaspoons of chopped minced garlic. So it wouldn't be much fun with garlic if, 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 in an Italian recipe without garlic, would it? Okay, there we go. We got our garlic incorporated. We'll mix that around. And give that just a second. <coughs> Excuse me. So, how is the weather where you all are? Has everybody up north gotten rid of the snow that came this week? Could you believe that? We're having a cool week, but that's really cool. Holy cow. Um, yeah. My family sent me pictures of that. Goodness gracious. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about a drought there for a little while. Okay. So, we're going to just put the diced tomatoes in. 
want to do it like this so if there's any splatter, it stays in there. Can y'all see that? Okay, so that kind of quieted the boil down. And then um, I just bought these off the shelf. I suppose you could have cooked a beef recipe and just gone ahead and had it. I don't know. Um, and these are 32 ounces each, so it's six cups. So this will work. Why well, you need a big pot. But anyway, so I think we're just going to get this in and then... Goodness, wow. Maybe I should have poked an air hole in it. That's taken a while. Um, so I think what we're going to do, I will post a picture of this later when it comes out. It's going to take this about 15 minutes to cook. And, oh, I'm glad you're feeling better, Angela. Okay, so it's going to take this a little bit to cook, and I don't want to keep y'all on this long. But again, if you have questions about keto, if you have questions about anything that I've done, you know, I'm happy to um, talk to anybody about it. Hello, Cynthia. How are you? Um, so just go ahead and PM me. I, I check the comments periodically, but a PM will definitely get my attention. And I, I look forward to speaking with all of you because you guys are all so great. Thank you all for watching me. Whether you're on replay or whether you're on live, I really appreciate it because sometimes you guys come up to me afterwards and it's so nice to hear, oh, I saw your video or you did a good, good job or I like that recipe. You know, you just don't realize, you know, how much it means to people. But anyway, y'all have a great, great Saturday, uh, Saturday, here we go. Yeah, Friday and a great weekend. I'll probably be coming on from an art show tomorrow, but we'll save that for tomorrow. Bye, everybody.